how to import your product in Shopify using CSV files. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can import products onto Shopify and how you can make your life a whole lot easier with CSV files. Now, I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffy, but we're going to power through this and we're going to keep on learning. Now, to actually import our product in a CSV file, we have two options. Either you already have a CSV file, or if you don't know how to create a CSV file, or if you don't have one already, or if you want your information to be perfect when it is imported, you actually have a template provided by Shopify, and you can fill in your product info like so to prevent any mistakes within Shopify. So let's jump right in. To do this, we're going to go into our Shopify dashboard and we're going to click on product on the left. Once you click on products, you're going to click on import. And once you click on import, you're going to click on add file. Once you click on add file, you can open up your CSV file. And once you do that, you will have two options. Either you can override product with matching handles or publish new products to all sales channels. And if you choose the first option as well, then the existing values would be replaced in all columns included in the CSV. So that means that the products that are entered in the CSV will be written as the real product. And if there are two products that one you might have already added in Shopify, versus one that is in the csv that have the same product title then the one in the csv is going to be published and your original product added in your store would be removed but i'm just gonna keep the second option and then click on upload and preview once you do that you will see if this preview doesn't look right you can try to change the order of column headings but you will see a total of the number of products that you are importing SKUs and images and you will see that these products have product statuses and titles and I can just click on import product over here and it doesn't take too long to complete your import it really depends on the size of the file this is a pretty large file so it might take a longer time but if you have only 10-15 products it's not going to take time but Mostly when you're working with CSV files, it's just easier to import all of your products in CSV. So you have to wait a couple of minutes for this import to be completed. Now, I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'll show you guys the second way that you can import products from a CSV file onto Shopify. So the way that you're going to do that is by going into import. I'll just close this just we'll have to wait for this import to be completed and we're going to have to wait a little but you guys can see these products are now being added i can click on import again and what you're going to do is that when you click on import in the products tab on shopify you're going to download their sample csv and once you have their sample csv downloaded you can open this particular file up and replace the column info so if i open this up and i'll copy all of these into a google sheet so you guys can see what it actually looks like i'm just going to command c and then i'm going to open up a blank google sheet like this and then i'll do command v now this is the product template of shopify itself so if you want all of your information to be put in perfectly then you want to use this format that Shopify provides. First, you add the product title. So this is going to be my Bella Rouge liquid lipstick or just lipstick. Now, this is the product handle and your handle and titles are two different things. Usually product handles can be a combination. Your product handles can be a combination of both numbers and letters and your title is what's going to show up. So I'm just going to use numbers instead. Then you have the body, then you have the vendor. So if you are a Shopify store where you have multiple different vendors or even within your brand, you have brand segregation. So you might have a um, gym wear line that is different. You might have a makeup line that is called something different. You can change the vendor. So let's say this is going to be Matte Cosmetics. 
and then you have the category that you want to add this product to so this is going to be makeup and within makeup you're gonna use a arrow over here this is going to be in lipsticks and you have the type of product so you're going to define the specific type it is and then you can add all of your tags then you have the option of published now you might say hey aren't all my products going to be published no if you want to add certain products only as a draft and you don't want to publish them you just want to add them to your store and later on choose to publish them you can go on ahead and click over here and write false if you write false that will ensure that the product is added but not published then after that you have your options these option values are the different variants that you might be providing so if you have any type of variant you can add that over here for example for clothing or for um you know usually for clothing you have sizes so you have small medium large so on and so forth you can add those option names on top you would add the option name such as size then below that you would add the variant so let's say this is a either a full full lipstick and then a comma and then there's going to be a mini lipstick like this and you can add other variant options as well then you have the variant skus these are your product identifying numbers or your stock keeping units then you have your variant grams your inventory your variant prices compare at prices and then you have your image source so to make this easy what you're going to do to make your image import easy you can go on to shopify okay and you're going to click on content on the left and once you click on content click on files once you click on files click on upload files and upload all of the product images so when you upload all of the product images they are then going to be hosted on shopify but they're not going to be a um, display on shopify they can just uh, host them all and then copy the link once you've uploaded the product then you're going to copy the link go back into your spreadsheet and in the image source section paste in your shopify image link then you have some other values as well as your google shopping uh, options and once you have completed that just click on share and just download this or you can just click on file on the top left click on download over here and download this as a csv file and then you can upload in the same way on shopify so just like that you can import your products from a csv to shopify i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say